nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys we are fixing to put her in gear and get out of here. Out of this little small truck stop. That's a bigger one than what it was across the street, so I guess it's not too shabby. I guess we'll see if we can make that corner. Uh, it looks pretty bad. I don't know if we can make it. We might just have to. Uh, Try and get further to that side yet. <laughs> we might just have to try and get further to that side. Oh my, this is not working so good. This is kind of what I figured that they made these lines a little too close to the building, I think. And that guy parked a little too close to the building, too. Now, if there was a truck parked beside me, I probably couldn't make this turn. I probably couldn't. It's even right now. Super close. Yep, the, those lines are too close. But, here we go. Let's back, get back on the road and uh, make our delivery and uh, see what we'll be able to do from there, right? Yeah. We got 111 miles to go. In 400 feet, Draw turn left delivery. on West Fulton Street, WI-54, and then slide right in 300 feet. Alright RJ, we will do that. We shall do that. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as the light will change, right? Yeah. Usually the plan, but there is a quick trip truck stop there across the street where I went to last night. Before I went across the street, and uh, there was no parking at all in there, but uh, across the street there was. So, yeah. Well, we certainly will do that. We certainly will do that. We'll be close to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm sure, a lot of you uh, miles. know where Milwaukee is. So, Germantown is, I think, just north of Milwaukee. So, we'll be very close to Milwaukee. Yeah. Now, the goal is to try and get a load to Toronto. See how that turns out, but uh, I already told this back. I need to go east. I need some more miles. Yeah. It's a little foggy this morning. When I woke up, it was even worse, but uh, now uh, I guess the sun is starting to come through, so. Starting to go away. So I like it. It can go away. It can go away. I don't want it. I don't want no fog. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. And that's uh, right along with me. And that's uh, how I look out of the windshield and see what I see. Alrighty, guys, we are just about to our delivery place. Speed warning. Yeah. I haven't been down here in a very, very, very long time. But we are making it again. I don't remember ever coming down this stretch of the highway. I, I think I used to come down that way and uh, come up that road this way, you know. Because that road that I gotta go on is the running this way, 
and so I gotta make a left hand turn up here and about a mile and a quarter good we gotta get there first right yeah different ways of coming in there I guess we'll get there we'll get there eventually yeah guys I do see a bunch of trucks and trailers in there so that's exactly what I suspected was going to happen. You I have arrived also at see your destination a in there. on the left <laughs> side, North Wasaki Road. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a long wait by the time we get done unloading here. Good. That's the way it goes. So, let's see if we can find us a parking spot in here somewhere. Actually, there's only two trucks in here. Yeah, this is that German guy that was up there too, and I was up in there. Yeah. That shouldn't be too bad then. I don't know why they got a lot of trailers parked in there like they do, but... Yeah, well, let's back her in there, and then we'll go check in, and so we'll see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys, we are empty. Didn't even take one hour to get unloaded. Took them about 45 minutes from the time I pulled in here, checked in and got unloaded, sweeped out the trailer. By the time I uh, finished sending, uh, sending all my paperwork or my uh, messages and fill out my paperwork and everything, it was pretty much one hour. And now we're out of here. So, I'm going to go to the nearest truck stop, which is nine miles away. We'll go over there and sit over there and see what we'll be up to later on. Hopefully we'll be able to get a load. Yeah. <coughs> we'll see what happens, I guess. They said that they don't have a load just yet, so. In 1,000 feet, turn right on Columbia Line Road. Don't know what they'll have for us, but... Uh, the guy that was there ahead of me, he uh, he got a load, and he said the same thing. He had to wait there for a while to get a load. And I don't like to sit there at the customer, so so I'm just gonna go over to the nearest truck stop, and uh, at least I can use the facilities and maybe go take a shower. We'll see. We'll see if we'll take a shower there or or where we're we going to take a shower today. But today we are going to attempt to take a shower somewhere, that's for sure. Now I don't really want to pay for a shower, so I'll may wait a little bit and see which direction they'll send me and uh, if they send me some direction where I can uh, get me a shower maybe tonight then I'll do that and if not then I'll take a shower over here yeah that's just the way it's going to be but let's get down over to our uh, delivery I mean uh, truck stop and then uh, we'll see you all a little bit later well guys it has been a weird and stressful day I guess I could say yeah, we're going to we're going downhill. It seems like, and my ears are popping, you know, and the pressure, I guess. But anyways, uh, what I was going to talk about is uh, it's been stressful for getting a reload. It's been like three or four reload offers that we got and that one got cancelled because I didn't want to go back home again I need some more miles then they gave me another load and I started my way down there and I'm about half an hour down the road and they cancelled that load on me they decided to give it to somebody else and then uh, they finally called me and uh, I said, well, I, you know, I, I'm not going back home. That ain't gonna happen this time. I said, I had enough. I, I need some more miles. And so, 
best thing they could do for me is tomorrow morning. At 10 a.m. they said uh, I can reload out of Portage, Wisconsin. And then go to uh, Mississauga from there. So. so that's what we're going to be doing. at the truck stop there for a while and then I got down the road and had to stop again stopped at a rest area now we're making the way over to uh, Portage we got 48 miles to go and we'll be done for today yeah we'll have to just sit there till tomorrow got nothing else right oh yeah the way it goes in the trucking industry sometimes you know sometimes it's slower than other times yeah, just looking at this low area up here we got some water oh no I'm almost lazy I'm not doing anything <laughs> yeah That's okay. We'll see what we'll do for tonight. I'm planning on maybe making me some dinner in the truck. Maybe I'll cook me a stew or something. We'll see. Anyways, let's get over to Portage and see what happens. Well guys, we are sitting in Portage, Wisconsin right now. Get the truck up. It's quite quiet over here. But they got nice lighting up here and uh yeah so we're just finishing off the day getting ready to go to bed here pretty soon oh uh, yeah i'm certainly done we had ourselves a nice shower over here and got some clean clothes on again supposedly we can pick up our loader tomorrow morning so we'll definitely do that if we can do that yeah we'll be on our way to toronto that'll be exciting yeah Anyways, we're getting ready to go to bed. I don't really have much else to say today, so uh, stick around for tomorrow. We got some good show coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You never know what we're up to, because we generally don't tell you in advance. We just record whatever happens that day. And if it's just sitting around, it's just sitting around. If it's driving somewhere, Something exciting is happening. We might film it. <laughs> Most likely we'll try and get it on tape. That's the goal anyways. To entertain you guys. Sometimes I manage to do that. Sometimes not so much. But hey. You gotta take the good with the bad. As they say sometimes. Yeah. That's what I learned in life. Sometimes you gotta take the good with the bad, or the bad with the good, whatever way you want to put it, whatever way you want to word it, right? Same thing as when you go fishing. Sometimes you get big fish, sometimes you get small fish. That's the way it is over here too. Sometimes you get good miles and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get a sit, sometimes you hardly have time to take a shower. That's the way a trucker's life goes, you know? But you got to get used to it. Sometimes you have heavy traffic. And sometimes you don't. That's right. Anyways. Whatever that was. That just popped in my head. And I had to talk about something, right? <laughs> Anyways, we're done. So let's get out of here. Have yourself a fantastic day. And come and join us tomorrow again at 2 a.m. At least if you're up that time. And if you're not, well... Be sure to check us out throughout the day because you never know what's happening. So we'll see you then or you will see me then. Whichever way it works, sometimes I might see you. Uh-huh. Anyways, good night. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.